Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Vanessa. If you're new here, thanks for joining. If you're returning, welcome back. This video is all about Pat McGrath's new Celestial Divinity Mega Palette. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the palette and then we're gonna do two looks that you can achieve using this palette. So first things first, this is the first time that Pat McGrath Labs has done a mega palette. So this palette has 18 shades, which is amazing, but it is different than her traditional palette. So for instance, with the Mothership palettes, this is the Mothership Midnight Sun. You can see how it has that like lacquered packaging, the really nice gold reflective back. It just screams like, open me it's really really luxurious and then inside you have your shadows which have a really large pan size these palettes retail for about a hundred and twenty five hundred thirty dollars i believe so they're expensive but they are super luxurious so this is like the the creme de la creme of her palettes then we also have the six pan mothership palette so these ones aren't as luxurious they still have really cool packaging though so they're cardboard on the outside but when you open them up you do have that same lacquered effect on the inside which is really really nice and beautiful and these have a smaller pan size i'd say but not that much smaller overall the packaging for the mothership mega palette is all entirely cardboard so when you open it up on the inside you don't have that lacquered effect it's more of a matte cardboard in here and it has these little strings which is different you usually see the the little strings on the side I think in cheaper packaging so the packaging is definitely not as luxurious so you're not getting that luxury experience that you do with some of her more expensive palettes the pan size of the eyeshadows is also much smaller so you can see it's basically like standard eyeshadow pan sizes which doesn't really bother me a whole ton. I rarely hit pan on eyeshadows, so I think that this size is great for me or for you if you're not wearing them every single day, which with these shades you probably won't be. It's more than enough to go around for you. I also don't think this is an everyday palette. There were only three matte shades in this palette, but all of the special shades are just fantastic so i would think of this as more of a special shade palette rather than something that you're probably going to grab every single day it does have some great shades that you can use as toppers or as a pop of color or to intensify an everyday look but it's not something that you really build your everyday kind of go-to makeup look around I do love that there are two kind of floral matte shades so this pink here and this rose tone here I really really like that these are included because they can also double as blush so you're gonna get more bang for your buck out of those two shades and I also like how there are some golds and bronzes that you could work into your makeup routine as a highlighter so that's also a way to get more for your money with a palette like this in terms of the shades there are only six new shades so when you're looking at the palette the six shades in the very center those are going to be your new shades the 12 shades on either side are repurposed shades i didn't already have those shades in my collection so i'm more than happy to have them even if they are a smaller size than the original palettes so that's pretty much a quick overview of what you're going to get if you do choose to purchase this palette. And let's get into the look. So I'm going to do one eyeshadow look on my right eye and I'm going to do a different one on the left eye. So obviously they're not going to match, but it gives you a chance to see how some of these shadows look on the eyes. I prep my eye with concealer. I use the Pat McGrath foundation and concealer on my face. And I also use two of those floral tone matte shades for my blush. So I'm starting off on my right eye with Venetian Orchid and I'm gonna use this kind of in this inner crease area. These mattes can work well with all of the shades in here pretty much. So I think that even though you're not getting a ton of mattes, you have enough to work with to build some really pretty looks. If you haven't tried any Pat McGrath products I don't really think that you can beat this amount of product at this price point so I think that if it's if you're kind of on the fence and you haven't tried anything from her line before especially eyeshadows I would say like 
just go for it just go for it I'm gonna go in with a smaller um, fluffy brush and I'm gonna take that same color and just kind of bring it into the lower lash line and I'm also gonna carry it out this way because I am gonna do like a wing here and I do kind of like that the mattes in this palette are not your standard like browns and tans because honestly you could get browns and tans that are decent quality anywhere so it's nice to have shades that you might not be able to find quality eyeshadow in so i do like that there are some different colors of mattes like i don't really think i have a lot of pink mattes that are really nice and apply well using the same little pointed fluffy brush i'm going to go in with venomous void which is another one of the matte shades. It's kind of a more purpley matte, and I'm gonna deepen that shading that we just did. And as always, like these shadows are really nice and pigmented, so a little really goes a long way. As with all of her products, really. I really love like purples. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow colors, so. I was excited to see that there are a good amount of purples in this palette. And I'm gonna carry this deeper color down to the lower lash line as well. I'm not gonna take it all the way across. So again, I'm using that same fluffy brush and I'm gonna take it about halfway. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush now and I'm gonna go in with Corruption. It's kind of a bronzy reddish orange shade and I'm gonna do that on the lid. And I'm going to leave this inner corner open. So everything except for that little inner corner is going to get corrupted with corruption. And you can see like the pigment on these. I'm not using a lot on my brush. And the pigment is just, it's there. So even though this is not like the standard size, for the eyeshadow pans, you definitely are getting the same quality as you do with any of her other palettes. I'm going to clean off my brush and just blend it out a little bit, just lightly blending it out. I really want the focus on the lid with this color. I'm going in with like a little fatter fluffy brush and I'm going to take Fuchsia Shock into this inner corner area. This is going to give a really nice pop like when the light catches it. It's a really nice pop of purple. I'm really just focusing it right kind of on that like eye socket area just right there. Now with the smudger brush I'm going to take Fuchsia Shock and I'm also going to apply that onto the lower lash line. I'm using my little Beauty Blender Pocket Blender to hold my eyelid down so I can get that on. And you can see just like how gorgeous this purple is. It's just really, really pretty. I'm sticking with the smudger brush and I'm gonna pick up Electron. It's a lighter purple and we're gonna put that on the inner corner. And this is like almost an iridescent type purple. It's really, really gorgeous. I think this shade and Dragonfly might be my favorites in this whole palette but all of them are really really pretty i'm just gonna clean up my brush and blend this in with that color we applied on the lid i'm gonna take a little bit more of that first lid color onto my brush and just blend it inward and i'm gonna top off the lid with saturnalia and I am going to apply that with my finger. This is kind of like a reddish orange color. And I'm just going to pop that onto the center of the lid. Just to give it a little extra because, I mean, why not? Why not give it a little extra? I mean, these colors together, I mean, just come on. Like... The woman just doesn't disappoint. She just doesn't. She just does not. All right, I'm gonna do a winged liner. I'm using a Clinique liner and I'm just gonna do a little wing. I like my wing to kind of stop 
halfway in here. That's just the shape that I like, but if you want to go further, shorter, whatever, like whatever works best for you, do you. I'm just following along that edge that we created there too with the eyeshadow. I'm going to deepen the wing with the Pat McGrath pen eyeliner. I'm using the bold side and I'm just going to really go right over wherever I apply that pencil. This is really just darkening that eyeliner a bit. And I'm going to finish this eye off by taking a black eyeshadow and going over the liner to give it more of a matte effect and also to darken it just a little bit. And I'm also going to drag the end, the little tail out, just to make sure it's, you know, like nice and thin at the end. I'm just taking the black a little into the lower lash line just to give this corner like a nice cohesive look. I kind of like my top and bottom to meet a little bit. That's just my preference. And that's it. This is eye look number one. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna move on to this eye. We're gonna start with Venetian Orchid and a big eyeshadow brush and apply that all over the lid. What I really love is that you're gonna see that even though we're using some of the same colors, the looks are gonna be very different. And that just shows you the versatility of the shades that are in this palette and how they can all really work well together and maybe get you to think outside of the box a little bit. You know, flex that creative muscle and come up with some looks that you maybe wouldn't have tried before, but you're happy you did. Now I've got it on, I'm just going to blend out the edge just a little bit. I'm not too concerned about it because we are gonna blend in another color. So with a big fluffy brush, I'm gonna pick up major mahogany and we're gonna do like a smoked out sort of thing. So I'm gonna take this all the way across here. I'm using kind of like the side of the brush to apply this and into the inner corner or the outer corner and the inner corner we're gonna do as well. Then go ahead and tap a little more of that pink into the center of the lid because we do want that to be nice and pink and you may have gotten a little bit of that deeper color onto that area. And I'm gonna carry that deeper color down to the bottom lash line and we're gonna have kind of a smoky effect going. So I'm using a big fluffy brush and I'm just smudging it in and blending it around. I'm also gonna carry it out to the outer edge and I'm going to use a fluffy brush again to kind of blend that out and make it all one shape, but we just really want to get it on. Let's get it on. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my big fluffy brush just to do that outer corner because I don't want it to be too intense right there. And I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and also just sweep around here just to make sure that everything is buffed out. Now I'm taking a detail brush and we're still working with that same deep color and I'm just going to intensify it on the outer and inner corner so I'm just shading it and smudging it in just to get a bit more color there. And again we're staying away from the center so really just focusing on the outer and inner corners and then I'm just going to carry it over the top here. I'm gonna clean off my brush and smudge this in just so that the color is blended in nicely. And I'm also gonna smudge that into the lower lash line just so that there's a little bit more of an intense color near the lash line. And you can see how we really got that like smoky effect going. I'm gonna go in with Dragonfly and my finger and we're gonna press that on to the center of the lid where that pink is kind of standing out. And this color is so pretty. It's like, almost like, like dainty to me. But it's got that beautiful duochrome finish that I think would be really gorgeous on its own. Like almost like a, um, like an illusion shadow. Like it's like, there's nothing really there, but there's something there. I don't know if that makes sense, but this color is just beautiful. 
And again, I'm just pressing it onto the lid. And I'm really focusing on the center. And I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit, just rubbing my finger in. I'm gonna go back in with my smudger brush and just blend this out a little bit so that we have a nice color payoff all over this area. And I'm gonna go back in and intensify that center one last time. So I'm gonna go back in with my finger and just amp up the coverage in the center. I'm gonna finish off this eye with just a little bit of black eyeliner on the top and bottom lash line. So I'm just taking a very simple line all the way across the top lash line. Nothing really dramatic, just defining that lash line and the bottom as well. And again, I'm using my pocket blender just so I can hold my lid down and not disturb the makeup underneath. And that's it. Second eye look complete. I'm going to finish off both eyes with the Ardell Wispy 701 lashes. So these are the final looks. Very different, but both really, really pretty. And these shadows are just, I am so happy that I've added them to my collection. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and review. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I have new videos every single Friday and click the notification bell just in case you forget. You'll be reminded that there is a new video and I'll see you next time.